the younger generation seems to think that the definition of being cool is what the society says about how you should live your life, how you can live your life, and how you need to live your life, which is not true. Salam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. My name is Fatima Goni. If you're new here, welcome to this Beacon. And if you're a returning subscriber, of course, you'll be my OG. Welcome and welcome back again. And welcome to another episode of Motivational Mondays with T. The fact that we're all being exposed to social media on daily basis, like your screen time may be 23 hours out of 24 hours because you're always on your phone. You see people from different races, see people from different religions, people from different country, continents and stuff and then you just be like, no, I have to live like this person. You don't have to live like anybody. You, you have to live like yourself. Live as you. If you need change, the change is not between you and somebody else. The change is between you and you. If you're looking at anything, you should look internal, not external. If you want anything, don't say that I want something that somebody has. Yeah, you can see something and you may like. We're human, we see things and they're beautiful and we like them. But getting to the point where anything and everything you see from somebody you want, you're not being true to yourself. So, stay true to yourself. You need to be contented with everything and anywhere and the points at which you are in your life. You see people your age becoming millionaires, billionaires, and you begin to ask yourself that. What have I been doing in this world? Why am I not a, a millionaire yet? Ah, I need to, I have to, not I need to. Like, there's a difference between need and have. I have to be a millionaire. That's when you think of ways that are not even appropriate for you, illegal ways for you to become that millionaire you want to become because you've told yourself that i have to become a millionaire so you will go to the extent of doing anything to get there the actual thing is the actual thing about social media and the actual thing about human being is they show you what they want you to if i don't want you to know anything about me you would not know anything about me if i only want to show you something about me a certain um what's it called character about me i'm going to show it to you if i don't want you to know nothing about me i can be with you for years and you will not know anything about me so people show you what they want you to see you don't have to get intimidated by things that are showing that they are showing you for example when couples you see couples on instagram i'm not saying when you see couples on instagram i don't say mashallah i don't say allah mubarak i don't say oh this is a beautiful couple but you see people going to their comment section saying that ah i want my husband to be like your husband i wish i can get a husband like yours and blah 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 a youtuber was like you people i only show you what i want you to see when my husband surprises me i show it to you guys when he takes me on vacation i show it to you guys and when we're in a fight i don't have time to take the camera and record that we are fighting we can be in the same house we can i can cook for him for five days, we are not going to talk to each other. I'm not showing you that. So don't come here and tell me that you want my husband. You want your husband to be like my husband. That was what she said. And I was like, wow, this is it. You need to understand that your values actually differ from other people's values. You have your principles as individual, as an individual human being. You have what you know you can do what you want to do and what you've told yourself that no matter what i'm not going to do this thing so seeing somebody and feeling intimidated or getting intimidated by that person and saying that oh i'm going to be like this person forgetting that you have your own principles and after you are done doing that thing you go back to your room and you just be like how i wish i didn't do it had i known i would have not done it that's regret so the only thing that will save you from all these things is staying true to yourself. The thing you don't even get is that if you know they feel yourself, another person they feel you. Like you might just be living your normal life and somebody they think, oh, this person is my idol. I look up to this person. I want to be like this person. Blah 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 blah. You are just, and you you are there thinking that ah that person oh, I must be like that person. And be you being true to yourself, somebody is actually buying it. This girl is authentic. Oh. I like her because she's being real. But the moment you start deviating from your realness and just trying to be cool, you, you lose your value. 
So being true to yourself is accepting everything that comes with you, starting from your name, your skin color, your eyes, the way your face looks, your family, everything about you. Accepting it and living with it and being contented with everything and everything that's happening in your life and where you are at the time in your life. Just accepting and living in the moment, enjoying every bit of the moment, trying to improve yourself or not trying to look at other people and say you want to be like them or I have to be like them. It's okay for you to have role models. There are people that I look up to that, oh, I'm saying, oh, this person is actually doing well and I'm looking up to that person. I want to emulate some things that that person is doing. It's not that I'm saying I have to be like that person. It's not that I'm saying I have to own everything that that person owns. It's not that I'm saying I love that person's family and I don't love my family. It's not that I'm saying I don't love my skin and I love that person's skin. What I'm saying is there are things that the, per the person is doing that are very good and I want to emulate and to start doing as well. There's a difference between having a role model and you're, that you're looking up to and having a competition. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you don't, please don't give me a thumbs up. I don't need that. Just scroll up and just go. That's it. And stay tuned. Put on your post not notification bells. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Assalamu alaikum. Bye.